Let's figure out how much interest we'd pay on a $4,000 loan borrowed from April 3rd to June 22nd at a simple interest rate of 3.8%. Let's start by pulling out the information in the question. We know that we're borrowing $4,000, so the principal is $4,000. The rate is 3.8%. The time, what we're going to have to do for time is figure out how many days there are from April 3rd to June 22nd. We can do that by drawing a simple timeline from April 3rd to June 22nd. And then the middle here would be the month of May. Now we know that April has 30 days in it, and May has 31 days in it. So from April 3rd to the end of April the 30th, we subtract those two numbers, and we know that there'll be 27 days till the end of April. We'll use the whole month of May, and that has 31 days in it. And then for June, we're going up to day 22, so we'll have 22 days in June. So the number of days is 27 plus 31, plus 22, if we add those numbers together, we end up with 80 days. There are other ways to calculate the number of days. You can use a uh, date table. You can also use your calculator. But for now, we'll just use this method. So our time is 80 days. Now the problem with that is rate is always given per annum or per year. So we have to make sure that our rate and our time have the same units. So we have to convert 80 days into years. Well, 80 days would be 80 out of a possible 365 days in the year. Now you might be asking, what about leap years? Well, since our timeline is from April 3rd to June 22nd, February is not part of that timeline, and leap years will only impact February. You add another day if your timeline goes through February in a leap year. Okay, we now have enough information to calculate our interest. Interest, simple interest, is equal to principal times rate times time. Our principal is $4,000. Our rate is 0.038. We convert the percent into a decimal. And then our time is 80 divided by 365. Just as a side, when we have 3.8% and we want to get rid of a percent, we divide by 100%, which means we're going to move the decimal two places to the left. And when we do that, we end up with 0.038, and the percents will cancel it. And when we work it out, we end up with 33.31507. Just to note that we can do this calculation in any order we like, because it just involves multiplication and division. Now, because we're dealing with money, we're going to go to two decimal places here for our interest. In other words, dollars and cents. So we look for the hundredths column here. We go to the right. It's five or bigger, so we're going to bump this up by one. So our interest is going to be $33.32. So our interest we'll have to pay in addition is $33.32. So how much would we have to pay back? Let's extend this question a bit. We would need to pay back principal plus interest. So we have a formula. S stands for the simple maturity value is equal to the principal plus the interest. In our case, our principal is $4,000, and the interest we calculated was $33.32. So we would need to pay back $4,033.32 in total. And there you go. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.